Hey guys, my name is Barry Infos. About a year ago, I made a video titled 10 good games you have never played before, in which I showed you 10 very obscure video games which I found interesting. Well, the video was well received, and after looking through my memories once again, I found 10 more games which I played back in the day that might interest you too. They are not in any particular order, just a list of 10 good obscure games you have never played. Uh, let's go! We'll start off with a racing game resembling classics such as Mario Kart, Revolt or even Downtown Run. I mean, it's pretty obvious where that cars got its inspiration from. A power-up you can collect, which you can use on your opponents to ruin their day, check. A suspended track with tight corners where the slightest push could send you flying off, check. A shortcut which heals your car so you don't have to use your power-ups to heal, check again. It has that and more. Being an old game and the oldest on the list, Dead Cars does not forgive mistakes and the last championship is really difficult. I completed the game last month, in 2020. Uh-huh, 21 years after its release. Sure I didn't play it for 21 years straight, but it took me that long to get the courage to finally master it. Next we have Elastomania. This one was in my top 5 games of the year 2000 list and before I uploaded it, you guys have probably never heard of it. You ride a bike in this one and the goal is to collect all the apples, return back to base and touch the checkpoint. Sure it sounds easy but remember this is an old game. Games back in the day used to be very hard and Elastomania is no exception. Death Cars took me 21 years to complete. It has been only 20 since last many released, so I guess I would complete it next year. It's really unforgiving though, some levels take 10 minutes to complete, but you can fail at any moment, by tilting it too fast for instance, that's what's so great about it. It's never the game's fault you failed, but your own stupidity. Ski Challenge 2008 is an unusual game for a list of mine. I am not a fan of sports games and avoid them every chance I get. Ski Challenge, however, provided me with gameplay like no other back in the day. While yeah, nowadays games like Steep exist, where you can use a big variety of equipment to pull off some exciting stunts, I played that game for 5 hours and I got bored. Ski Challenge has much simpler gameplay but it kept my attention for a couple of years at least. In general I dislike sports games, but this one always gave me the thrill of sliding down a huge mountain. The sense of speed is real, and winning was always very rewarding. I would actually recommend this one over Steep, much less gameplay options, but what you get is much better quality. Bad Infos finally lost his mind. He recommended us a children's game. I really can't argue with that logic. Super Cow is made for kids. You play as a cow who is a superhero. An evil professor has stolen the precious farm animals and it's up to Super Cow to save the day. The story is simple, the gameplay as well. It's a traditional side scroller, collect the coins, jump on the enemies and go right. It doesn't really get more complicated than that. What I love about this game is how calm it is. It's the perfect game to play right after going back from work or school. Should your window, sit, make yourself some popcorn or grab some ice cream and use your other hands to play. I have personally beaten this game at least three times and it was always in that way I described. It's a perfect stress reliever and if you don't want to be challenged, just get it and complete it. It shouldn't take you too long. Who knows how to save the farm better than Super Cow? 
And here we have Caster, a game which at some point was on sale for 14 cents on Steam. The graphics are terrible and it looks like a standard asset flip title. That's actually not the case. Caster is a simple game in which you go around and collect orbs. Yep, it takes about an hour and 40 minutes to complete and it's all you do. I like how short and fast it is. While many other games stretch out the gameplay to make it lengthier, caster does not. And if you want to beat it quick, you can do so. It's straight to the point. It has good music, movement is also precise and responsive. What more do you want? G well, good graphics, I guess. I guess also some more game time would be nice. But for what you pay, I think it's a fun experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Gardenscapes. This is a franchise which I absolutely adore. Not only that, this is the best point and click franchise ever made. And the best game in the series is the first Gardenscapes. I love point and click games. They're a nice stress relief and there's no learning curve. Just point and click. The story is simple, you live in a city and are tired of the noise, pollution and your job. But receive a letter from Austin, a lovely butler, who lets you know that you inherited a mansion with a lovely garden. It's up to you to restore it to its former glory by finding items around the mansion. You sell them, make a profit and remodel whatever you desire. It's simple and at the same time pretty in depth. You have the freedom to choose what you want to update first. The music is calm and serene. Austin is a sweet heart, always smiling and wishing you a good day. Yes, this and Super Cow I would say are some of the best relaxing games out there. Just make sure you're playing the PC version of Gardenscapes and not the crap on mobile, please. In the first 10 good games video I showed you a rendition of a Neighbors from Hell game called Cactus Tatsu Setku Polni Glamour. Well, the same company who made it also made Cactus Tat, Prince Percy and Jeanne Khalif. Just like the first game, you need to set a few tricks which would upset your neighbor. This time, instead of a spoiled wannabe model, your target is a sultan, a very fabulously wealthy sultan. Honestly, out of the 10 plus renditions of Neighbors from Hell, this is the closest one to the original. We have a fatso who makes funny noises, thinks he's Mr. Big, he is stupid and above all, he is incredibly funny, especially when he's about to suffer a trick. If you like Neighbors from Hell then please try this one out, it's free on the official Orient Games website and I see no reason why you should not try it out. And here is Gun Monkeys, unfortunately a forgotten gem, which nobody plays anymore. I've played PC games for 18 years and maybe 5% of all games I've played had multiplayer. I just don't like online play. Well, Gun Monkeys has always been an exception. Finding players is almost impossible nowadays, but once you do, you are in a hell of a fun time. Gun Monkeys is a 1v1 deathmatch game where the point is to power up your core. This can be done by collecting cubes or, what is more fun, killing your opponent. The weapons at your disposal are quite a few and they all provide a different playstyle. The movement is precise as well, shooting feels satisfying. It's a lovely game, unfortunately it's pretty much dead nowadays and I have no idea how you can even get it since the store page is gone. Ah, such a shame. And now I present to you Crimson Clover World Ignition. That's right, a shmup. I like shmups too. There's almost no genre I dislike actually, but shmups are games I play very rarely. It's mainly because of the difficulty, controls and the small screen. While yes, the game has all of these issues, I mean the keyboard controls are terrible, imprecise and hard to master, it's incredibly difficult however not impossible, since I managed to beat it on a keyboard, you can do it with a controller easily. The game is just incredibly fun. There is never a dull moment. No time to breathe. 
not a pixel on the screen where you can cover. You'll always be surrounded by orbs, monsters and machines. I actually think that this is the best shmup out there. And if you have any more suggestions, then let me know. You thought Super Cow was a weird addition to the list, eh? Well, take a look at Sven Bemvolen. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. Back in the day, before the days of the internet, porn games were a rare commodity. Whenever you got your hands on one and your parents caught you, you were in trouble and you had no PC for a month. Since phones were only used for calls, you were left with no entertainment whatsoever. Here is where the Sven franchise comes in handy. It's just child-friendly enough that you are off the hook if caught playing it. The humping is presented in a funny manner and you can't even see genitals or stuff like that. You are a black male sheep going around and uh, playing with the female ones. Just don't let the farmer or the dog get you because you would lose your life. Yes, yes, I know a weird way to end off the video, but it's still a game I think you should check out. If you haven't heard of the Sven franchise, then give it a go. And this concludes the list guys, again the list is in no particular order, just 10 good games you have never played, which you might find interesting. Leave a like if the video was interesting to you and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and a very special thank you to my lovely Patreon supporters. Austin Data, How's the Chowder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson and everyone else listed on the screen. Thank you so much for the support.